in my Brooklyn apartment. A little bit about me, my personal style, like what I wear, is definitely very influenced by vintage and just clothes from other eras. And I would say that my interior design is pretty much very much the same. Uh, I'm really into like antique furniture. I love when antique furniture shows like the patina and the wear. I think that the like worn in, lived in furniture has a little bit of character, has a lot of story. To me, it makes something, makes my room feel more homey too. So most of the clothes I buy, I try to buy things secondhand and I try to do that as well with my furniture. So I'll be talking about a lot of the places where I buy my furniture in Brooklyn and in New York that's secondhand that has really great options and deals and beautiful furniture as well. My bedroom has a ton of natural light, if you can't tell. My room is pretty bright. Um, I have south facing windows so it makes sense. I have a lot of light pretty much from the beginning of the day until sunset. So the color palette I came up with for my room with the blonde floors and the super bright white light was I wanted lots of light colors, whites and creams. But then I also knew I have a ton of gold little decor pieces that I love so I brought that into the room. I also like pink so there's a little pink sprinkled in. Um, I knew I was going to have lots of plants, so I also have some green in my room as part of the colors. The base colors for my bedroom though are definitely like the creams and the whites, and then I just sprinkle in a little extra color with the details and the um, accessories for my bedroom. So I'm pretty obsessed with clothes. Um, I have a closet and a hanging rack and shoes everywhere and this huge dresser. Um, I <laughs> my room is sort of set up as partially like a giant closet also that's definitely something that i thought about when i was deciding what i wanted to have in my room like other than my bed area i every other part of my room sort of functions to benefit me getting dressed and getting ready but that's sort of how i set up my room um, i'm actually looking to change it really soon so this video is sort of to document what my room looks like right now where i think it's set up really cute I just am gonna add some more things in. I need to get like a desk and I'm gonna create a little work area for myself. So I'm gonna be moving things around. I'll film that for you guys too. Anyways, without further ado, I will show you my bedroom. Okay, so here is my dark hallway that leads into my bedroom. walk in through the bedroom door. My room is honestly pretty big for a New York City apartment. It's like a very long shaped room. As you can see, I have like kind of a lot of open space in the middle of my room, but I've sort of sectioned it off in the back area. By the window, we have my little bed area. This is sort of my sanctuary. I love the way that the light just pours in through the huge window that I have in my room. Okay, so now I'm on the other side of the room. I came in from this door. So I have two other doors in my room. I actually have my own bathroom, so this door leads to my bathroom, and then this is uh, my closet. But starting from over here, this is my dresser. I would like to guess that it is from probably like the 1920s or 30s approximately. I could be so wrong about that. Um, but as you can see, it has, it's uh, originally wood and then it's been painted over and the paint is peeling. I think that's such like a cool little extra thing that, that this is such like a lived in piece of furniture. I think that gives it a lot more character. I bought this piece on the website apartmentdeco.com. I will say on the top, like this little flat layer here, this isn't, it's not dirty, it's not like messed up. These are just little marks that are in it now. But I'll show you the stuff that I keep on my dresser. I got this butterfly dish at um, 
Dobbin Street Co-op. I get, got this at their Greenpoint location. I also keep some of my toiletries right here. Um, behind my toiletries though is this cute picture of my parents. I have a couple jewelry boxes, a pair of sunglasses. It's a gold tray and I just keep my like most used toiletries and stuff here. I have like my vitamins, my vitamin D, Glossier, cause you gotta have some Glossier, my deodorant, lotion, stuff like that. I do also have a lot of plants in my room. I actually only have pothos in my room at the moment. So this is one of my plants. She's hanging in there. This was something I propagated and you know, she's seen better days, but I also made this little macrame hanging thing all by myself. It just is uh, tying a bunch of knots together and buying a lot of uh, strong string. And then I also have this pothos plant. I should probably show you from this angle. So I have it like this. It's in the background of a lot of my videos. sort of an extension of my closet, which is right here. And you know, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So as you can see, I do not have a huge closet. So I have a hanging rack that is stuffed to the brim from side to side. Up here, I keep like my jeans and my bulky sweatshirts and then like my linens and towels and stuff. Um, I also have these plastic drawers. I have my laundry right here, which is full. And then I keep like a backpack and extra bags over here. I close that door because I it's uh it needs to be hidden. Anyways, <laughs> right here is the rest of my closet. So I have all of my hanging clothes. I currently have sort of this creamy, peachy, pinky palette that I'm going on right now. Um, I switch out the clothes that are on this rack depending on how I'm feeling. This is a really cool opportunity to change up what the what the feel of my room is with just changing out what these are. Like sometimes when it's really cold and when we're allowed to go outside, I keep like all of my coats on here or like all of my denim sometimes. So then down here I have the rest of my shoes. Uh, these are definitely the shoes that I wear the most often. Over here, I have this fantastic vintage chair, which I bought from Reuse America New York City, which is that Instagram account that has like the this cool warehouse full of used furniture. This is like an old vanity stool or something like that, but it's a little bit plush, so it's a little comfy. It really works with the colors scheme of my bedroom. And then I added this uh, little plush chartreuse plush pillow. My mom gave me that. Above this chair, I have this little mirror up here. This is from Dobbin Street Co-op. I bought this at their Bushwick location. This is another pothos plant. It could probably use a splash of water. Um, my mom gave me this little gold tin which was thrifted she brought it up here once when she was visiting you can see in this mirror that my head hits this planter so this chair is not the most practical chair in the world but this is also where i can see myself oh you get to see my hideous this is the only time you'll ever get to see this look at this light Ugh. Anyways, back to this. So this is uh, what I call my selfie mirror. Here, I'll stand up. It's a huge mirror, but it's just the mirror from Ikea that everyone has. I got uh, on through the website um, Nextdoor, which is a website that connects you to people in your neighborhood and someone was selling this Ikea mirror. So next to my mirror, I have my bed. I have a bed that's pretty low to the ground. I just have a very simple um, white duvet cover on my duvet right now, so it's very minimal. I swap out the pillowcases on my pillows all the time. I have, right now, my decorative pillow <laughs> is this really cool, um, satin pillowcase that says Army and Fort Hood text, but it's in these, this color palette that is like, this is actually, this is the color palette of my bedroom, pretty much like 
white, pinks, oranges, and then like blues and greens and natural colors. This is my color palette. <laughs> but my mom gave me this pillowcase. It has this like adorable little vintage poem. It says Fort Hood, Texas, which I love. I don't even know where Fort Hood is, but I am from Texas, I'm from Dallas. So I think this is really cool. This light from Dobbin Street is a hanging light that I've just, uh, I have two hooks in the ceiling. So it, there's one where it hangs and then another one in the back so that to redirect the wire. Well, next to my bed, I have this huge window. Um, I love this window because it's like just this huge light box in my room. It creates so much fabulous natural light. I will say though, we have this little backyard that we don't have access to, but the people in our apartment complex have access to. And the backyard is a mess. What is this, a mattress? So I usually just keep these curtains closed, but they let the light in, so I don't have to see what's out there. I just see this like pretty light. I'm also hiding behind these curtains my AC unit, which is pretty hideous. It lives here year round. I have like a little candle on my windowsill with this little button that says, hey y'all, Dallas. So when I do pull these curtains back, it reveals my flamingos. I bought these little flamingo guys at Dobbin Street Co-op as well. These are actually, I think, just supposed to be like coat hooks or something like that, but I use them. They hold back my, my curtains just fine, see? And you can see like on the outside of my door or my window, there's just like a huge metal wall. I love these sort of whimsical touches to a bedroom though. Like this is unexpected. You don't really get to see it. This is the first pop of pink I added to my room too. So it's extra special to me. I have this pothos that I'm propagating. It's just in water. This is one of my many anthropology candles. I, I love the volcano candles. I'm, I'm, a, I'm basic, what can I say? This is another one that's like not dirty, but has um, some flaws. So it might look a little bit messy. I love the green trim with the white. Oh, I should tell you where I got this from. This is um, another next door find. This was originally by my bed. When I got my full length mirror, I no longer had space for this little table. So I moved it over here. This is the rest of my bedroom. All right, everybody. So this concludes my bedroom tour. I hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun filming this and just making my room perfect and like, perfectly clean so that I could film this on this super sunny day that I feel so lucky to have to create this for all of you. Um, more to come, I'm also working on a kitchen tour. I painted my kitchen pink recently, so I'll be coming up with a video for that pretty soon. Um, and then my next project, I'm definitely going to redo my bathroom. I'm gonna do a little DIY bathroom situation, um, but more to come. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel so that you can get more videos like this one. Okay, thanks everybody. Have a great day.